the ropes, which he does. Steve has to hold on to that tag team rope, which I was speaking about earlier, fans, to make a legal tag. That's the reason he just can't come right in. The fans here are pounding away, clapping. It fights over the courage, the energy to get up and go, to try to break this hold. Oh, there's Orton up there. Oh, that big fist right to Spike's forehead floors him. Spike Huber's grimacing. Cowboy Bob Orton applauding himself. The fans not appreciating it at all. Steve Regal coming in to rescue Spike. Spike going over to make the tag. He doesn't know that Steve's not there. Orton taking Spike, drilling his forehead into the turnbuckle. Johnny Storm telling Steve, get over in the corner where you belong. Steve will have to disqualify you. Now what John Shorn's attention is drawn towards Steve Regal, Colton Norton take the opportunity, they seize it, and they work on humor at the same time. Smart wrestling, although not legal, although not within the confines of the rules, the odds it gets to win nonetheless, and Orton and Cole are trying to do just that. And they don't care how they win, just as long as their hands are raised. This is a feature match of the day, fans. TV time allows, we'll show all this. There Orton trips Spike. He trips him, he takes him outside the ring. He's beating on Spike, unmercifully. Regal trying to help Spike. All four men are on the outside of the ring. Oh, this cowboy Bob Orton's going. Steve Jones, Orton's head right into the turn, right into the ring apron, excuse me. Spike and Steve, they went outside there. Steve trying to help him. Big side, Steve's out of it. Cole Norton, thrilling Spike Huber. They're thrilling him, fans. Norton was on it. Oh no! Spike reverses that 
Steve Regal did a good job there at holding Cole outside the ring. The winners are nonetheless Spike Huber and Steve Regal. The Young Lions win it, man. Stay tuned. We're going to be back with more exciting championship wrestling after these messages. We'll have Dick speak in a minute. Also, fans, make a note. Tag team title action. Valiant and Abdul in there against Regal and El Bracero. Also, Redbone against Hog. Rooster Griffin versus Rocky Guerrero. And one more match. Get your advance sale tickets. Honey Creek Square. Osco Drug. For this man, Dick the Bruiser against Bobby Colt. And Dick, you want him badly now. That's right. I'm coming back to Terre Haute. I haven't been in Terre Haute for almost a year. I'm coming back not as a champion. Be Colt. Bobby Colt beat Dick the Bruiser in Indianapolis several weeks ago. But I'm going to get my championship back in Terre Haute. And let me tell you one more thing, you friends of mine in Terre Haute. The great Abdullah and Jerry Bellion are now the tag team champions. They beat Steve Regal, and they beat Spike Huber, and injured Spike in Milwaukee over about three months ago. Well, they're going to be in Terre Haute, and I hope the wrestlers beat them to death. Because if they don't beat him, I'll finally get a hold of him. Spike Huber has, has just started returning to wrestling because he was injured by these guys. And they're going to get theirs one of these days. But the thing I'm thinking about of most is Bobby Colt. I'm coming to Terre Haute where all my friends live. And I'm going to beat you right Terre Haute and get my title back at the Terre Haute New Armory. Boy, One fall, 45-minute time limit. Introducing from Tehran, Iran, at 230 pounds, Sheik Allah Hansan. And his partner from Istanbul, Turkey, at 295 pounds, Abula the Great. South Carolina at 260 pounds, Rufus R. Freight Train Jones. And his partner from Woodland Hills, California, at 255 pounds, the world's most scientific wrestler, Wilbur Snyder. Okay, fans, Sam Medica rings out again, and... Uh, this is our feature match of the day. We will bring you, up, bring you as much of it as our allotted television time will allow.